So if you've ever used an ANSI drawing program like the draw, you'll note that one of the ways you can save your drawing is as a C source file. So what does that mean? How do you use that C source file? Well, let's first of all bring up the draw so we can see what I'm talking about. So if you haven't used the draw, the draw was a very popular uh, ANSI drawing program for DOS in the 1980s and 1990s. It was shareware, cost 22 bucks. Uh, if I go into the program itself and then bring up the menu, you can see I can save and then the different ways that I can save my file uh, in the middle of the row there at the bottom of the screen, you can see C is one of my options. So that will save my screen data as a C source file that I can use in a regular program. But what format does it actually save it in? What's that look like? So go ahead and quit out of the draw. And here's a file that I saved earlier. I saved it as an image data dot ink file dot inc to mean include. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at what that file looks like. So more image data dot include. And you can see at the, at the top of the file, it's got a couple of C find statements. It sets the image data width, uh, which is 80. That's the number of columns on my screen. Image data depth, which is the number of lines on my screen, 25. And then image data length. That's the length of the image data array. And that's actually 80 times 25 times two because uh, every character on the screen is represented by the character itself plus a color attribute. The color attribute combines both the foreground color and the background color in a single 8-bit byte. And as I scroll through the file, you can see that that's exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing a character. We're seeing a lot of spaces up here at the top of the file with a couple little dots here and there. Uh, we're seeing a single character followed by a color for that character, background and foreground all. And then we get some other stuff that's a little more interesting. What does this actually look like? What does my screen look like as I scroll through this? Let's go ahead and exit out of uh, the more program and let's write a program that uses that image data that ink file to draw an image to the screen. So let's start a new uh, program and uh, this is going to print out a Halloween message. So we'll call it Halloween. Let's see. So every C program needs to start with include standard IO dot H. And because we're drawing to the screen, we need to use include uh, con IO dot H. And because we're using open Watcom, we're going to be setting color. Uh, the open Watcom function, a uh, uh, header for a file for that is going to be include uh, graph dot H. And then I need to get the uh, data itself. And so I'm going to include it here at the top level. So it'll basically be a global array. And so we'll do include my image data dot ink. So I mentioned that every uh, character on the screen is represented by a character and then a text attribute. And the text attribute is storing both the foreground color and the background color all at once. So we need a function that can pull apart that text attribute into the foreground color and the background color. I'm going to write a new function here. It's a void function called text attribute, and it will take a single argument, uh, int attribute. So the attribute is going to look like this. Uh, the attribute is going to have the background color and the foreground color is a single uh, eight bit byte. And if you remember the other video about how uh, DOS only has 16 colors. It's because the bit pattern looks like, uh, there was a background, uh, bit pattern here. There's a, a blink bit, uh, and I'm not going to use that. So I'll just represent that as zero. And then I have three bits that represent the background color. And then I have four bits that represent foreground color. And that is a text attribute. It's storing both the background color and the foreground color as a single eight bit byte. Just to remind ourselves uh, what that looks like. So uh, the number uh, zero is represented by the bit pattern of just zeros. I'll use uh, four zeros here. Uh, the number one is represented as zero one. Uh, the number two is binary zero zero one zero. Uh, numbers like uh, seven are going to be uh, zero one one zero, right? That that's one plus two. That's three uh, plus four, seven. And then uh, of course eight is going to be 
one zero 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 and then a big number like 15 is going to be uh ones and that's because uh, one plus two plus four plus eight that's 15. and so that's uh what we're looking at when we talk about uh bit patterns on dos they're being st uh, we can store the text attribute as a combination of background and foreground colors in a single 8-bit byte so how do i pull that off so uh, to get the text color i just need the four rightmost bits and so i'm going to use the open Wattcom function set text color and then i want to do a binary mask attribute with an a binary and on the value of 15 because as we saw up above that means it's going to pull off uh 0000 and that's going to pull off these bits here at the end foreground foreground foreground, foreground. that's what that's going to pull. and then uh to grab the background color i want to use the open watcom function set k color and i need to get the uh the background bits to be uh right hand side so i'm actually going to do a binary shift and so I'm do uh, my attribute and then i'm going to shift it to the right by four that's greater than greater than four will shift all those bits over to the right by four so basically i'm going to lose the four uh, foreground bits and that'll leave the background bits in those uh, three rightmost uh, bit position which means that now if i do a binary and do a mask with seven that will only pull off those last three bits. And so what I've done here is I've, I've now masked off zero background, 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 and then this other stuff is just whatever in those. And so, yeah, two lines here to pull off the text attribute into the text color and the text background color. And with that, we can write our program. So we're going to have a, uh, in our int main, and we need to have a couple of variables here so to run through the array we certainly need to keep track of where we are in the array do an int position in my array and then i need to of course pull off the attribute so we'll do an int variable called the attribute and then i also need to have a character so uh, that turns out i need to have uh, not just a, a regular uh, care variable but i actually need to have a pointer and we'll see why that's important in a while I'm going to do a pointer to, to, a, to an array element, and I'll call that ch. Let's go ahead and set the video mode uh, with the open Watcom function set video mode. And I'm going to set the mode to text c80. That's color in text mode, 80 columns, 20. And I'm also going to set the text position, which should get set to the upper left-hand corner anyway, but let's go ahead and just set the text position. Uh, to 1-1, one, one, and that is going to be the top left part of my screen. Now I can go ahead and draw the gray screen. And I want to print, um, turns out, not all 25 lines. I want to leave the last line uh, alone so I can put a prompt there. So I want to print out uh, the uh, only the, the top uh, 24 lines. And so how many elements am I going through array well remember that's going to be 80 columns times 24 lines and every uh character and color is represented as a pair so i need it to be two and if i'm doing my math correctly that should be 3840 and so now i can do a for loop that says uh, position starting at zero as long as the position is less than 3840 and then every time we do our loop we're actually going to skip ahead by two so position plus equals two and uh, i need to now pull off the character now i'm going to normally i would just pull off one character and like maybe stick it in an array because remember there's a there's a function called out text uh that will print out a string uh, and so I could put that as like the first character of a string and just use out text all the time. Turns out there's a, 
there's another function we can use that will, you give it an array or a pointer to an array. And then how many elements do you want to print out of that array using our text attributes? So that's going to be called out them. And so that's why we need to have the pointer into the array uh, pointing to a character. And so we're going to set a character as the address of image data at uh, the position. So if we keep tracking what I've just done, that's a pointer assignment. And then I will need to grab the attribute. So the attribute is going to be image data at a position plus. One. Now that I've got my character and my attribute, I just need to go ahead and set the attribute using text atter and then pass the attribute here. And then I'm going to print out the text. So again, I would normally use out text to print out like a string using the attributes that I've just set. But here I'm going to use out mem because I can give it an array, ch, so the pointer to the array. And then how many elements do I want to print out? How many characters do I want to print out? I want to print out just one character at a time because every character could have a different color pair associated with it. It allows me to print out just one character at a time. And that's it for my for loop. It's actually the guts of the program right there. And so after this, we're really just done with the program. We just need to print a little prompt and then we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and set the text position. So set text position uh, to uh, line 25 and one, and that should be the bottom left. And then uh, I can print out a string, which out text and press any key quit. And then I'm going to go grab a single character from the user, get ch. And then once I've done that, I can go ahead and turn back to the operating systems. That's the end of my uh, function. Oops, return uh, zero. Uh, and so that's that's my uh, main program. So what, what we've done here, just to remind ourselves, we, we defined a function up here called text at attribute that will set the attribute based on color pair. And then down here, you can see that that was pulling off the text color off of that bit pattern and then the background color. And once we had that, it's really just going through the array uh, with this for loop to uh, grab, uh, do a pointer assignment to uh, the character and then get the attribute set the attribute, and then use out mem to print out just one character at a time. Everything else beyond that is really just setting up the screen and then uh, exiting. The so let's go ahead and, and save this. Save and quit. And let's go ahead and compile our program. So we'll do a Watcom compiler and linker on uh, Halloween.c. And if I typed in everything correctly, which it looks like I did, I can now type uh, Halloween.exe, and that will run my message. And there it is. So happy Halloween, everyone. What do you think of this programming message? Are there other uh, programming examples you'd like me to do? Put those in the comments below. I'd be happy to do them. Uh, thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this happen. I really appreciate your support. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you especially here for that. So thank you. Visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.